We are in this mess because of lack of manufacturing. You cannot address a problem and then put off the solution saying that that will happen a couple years down the line. Example, we manufactured in this country uh, 16 million automobiles uh, two years ago. At the average price of $28,000, 13 million people were employed directly or indirectly in the automobile industry. This year, we will sell 8 million automobiles. Now, I got in a big fight with my, with my leadership, with the Obama administration, when I said, if you're going to use a stimulus, find some way to get people back in manufacturing and reopen the supply chain. I'm probably the only member of Congress who's ever gone to warehousing school. Folks, this is not difficult to understand. We have to empower the people who still have jobs to buy automobiles, to get those cars moving off the showroom floors, to restock the state and local in a tax coffers with sales tax to get people back to work instead of paying them unemployment compensation and waiting for the banks to stabilize. It doesn't make sense. I've got a Chrysler plant in my district. And obviously I have a, a, a deep interest in doing that. We propose, and you see it on there, a voucher, a point of sale voucher. So you could go to your Chrysler dealer and you can buy a brand new four-wheel drive Patriot. I got my eye fixed on that. <laughs> Instead of $20,000, it's $15,000, and you can buy that for less than $300 a month for five years. Unless we restart manufacturing, there will be no recovery. And we will be in the midst of the deepest depression this country has ever seen. Because Wall Street still doesn't get it. And a lot of economists understand the problem, but they don't understand manufacturing. Without manufacturing restarting, the economy will collapse. With our bill for a $5,000 tax voucher, or a $5,000 voucher, you go buy your new automobile, get up to 15 million cars sold again, the total cost to this taxpayer is $75 billion. This is the point of sale voucher. It's not a tax cut, it's not a tax credit. It's exchanged by the, by the dealer for the VIN number and he gets his check within, within 10 days. Now what have you got? Number one, no new governments involved in this bailout. Number two, no oversight committees. And I've been on I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of hours studying up there. Number three, you light the fire at the feet of the problem. You don't pour it in from the top, folks. That's trickle-down economics. Pouring money in from the top and hoping that by paying a few outstanding bills you're going to solve this crisis? Some people said, well, you know, Reagan was the expert at trickle-down